Hey everybody, my name is Jody, and I just got done watching a movie on Netflix. It's called Making of a Murderer, and I, amongst probably millions of other people, have a lot of questions and concerns after watching this movie. And I just, I just want to say that um, I've never heard anything about this case prior to watching this uh, documentary on Netflix. Um, Stephen Avery was convicted of rape and was uh, in prison for 18 years. He was exonerated after new DNA evidence proved that he was not the person that committed this. He was released and a couple years after he was released, he filed a lawsuit against the Manitou Police Department. A few days after that, uh, he, I, I'm not sure of the timeline, it was shortly after that, he, Teresa Hombach, um, who was a photographer for Auto Trader, she went out to the property um, to, to take some pictures of a van, uh, Stephen Avery's sister's van, to put it for sale. And um, she came up missing shortly after that. And the police department, they immediately came after Stephen Avery for this. There's a few things that, that bother me, and I'll go right straight to it. There was a key that was find, found on Stephen Avery's property. It was found in his bedroom on the floor. After four days of the police department searching, um, Officer Leak, who was involved in the first um, a loss, he was involved in the lawsuit that Stephen Avery brought against the police department. Um, he found this key laying on the floor, and um, the key didn't have any of Teresa's DNA evidence in it, although she had that key for four years. Uh, only Stephen Avery's DNA was on this. The defense team, um, they got the DNA from Stephen Avery that they had prior um, that was supposed to be sealed and put away. When they retrieved it, that DNA had um, been opened, unsealed, and there was a hole in the top of the the vial that you could clearly see somebody had, you know, gotten blood out of there, or whatever. Um, so there's there's so much to this case. Like I could just go on and on and on. Um, Brendan, you know, the nephew, he was he was, you know convicted as well and and there's just no way there's no blood found on the property inside the trailer outside the trailer um, there was none that was found um, in the in the shed um, there was nothing anywhere all there was was pieces of evidence that could have been um, you know done somewhere else and placed on the property like there was bullets with Teresa's DNA on there um, there was um, I can't remember what else there I think that was it like uh, there was nothing else with her DNA on there um, Brendan this poor kid you know respectively has a low IQ and in the interview you could clearly see that he's being coaxed in what to say you know I mean the only thing that I saw that he said on his own the only thing was that he wanted to know what time he was getting out of there because he had an assignment due in six hour um, you know, they said also Brendan put her body in the back of the RAV4 because on the right side of it there was like hair, you know, smear or whatever. And Brendan is left-handed. If he had picked her up, he had picked her up by her head and put her in, you know, like this. And her the hair blood would have been on the left side. There's just so much, you know. They said that she was shot in the head, her throat was slit, you know. I'm, I'm seeing blood like everywhere. And there's not one speck of blood anywhere on the Avery property um, none in the none in the garage none outside none on the you know bed um, they said that um, Stephen Avery called and requested her um, you know I mean so what I don't see that as you know him murdering anybody he said you know he, he, he's just proclaimed his innocence like he did the first time around I don't there's no evidence proving that he did it okay so then they said that there's sweat underneath the hood of her car um 
you know, and then the defense proved that it could not 100% be claimed to be her sweat, to be his sweat, I'm sorry. Um, and, and that was proven as well. And then how about this? This is the big one that just really gets me is that the police officer called in the RAV4 three days prior to it being found. Um, this was this was played in court. Um, police officer called three days before the woman walked onto the Avery property and said, God led me to this vehicle. I found this vehicle in, within 10 minutes, 40 acre property, hundreds, thousands of cars, okay? And she was led by God within 10 minutes to this vehicle. Um, I just, I don't buy it. Like, I don't buy it. I didn't believe her whatsoever. And I'm open-minded. I am, like, if somebody's got concrete evidence that can say, you know, Jody, look, you know, he did it. This is, you know, stuff that, that wasn't put on the show. This is stuff that hasn't been on the net. Um, whatever, please do, because then, then it will at least make me feel better. Like, I am terrified to even drive into the state of Wisconsin. I mean, is it that bad? Um, it's very clear that the police planted evidence on this this man and um, that they he did not get a fair trial, and neither did Brendan. And the only people that I saw that remotely had a soul within this whole entire thing was the defense team. I mean, the two defense lawyers. I mean... I could seriously sympathize with them because I could feel what they're feeling. I feel it right now. Like, how could somebody be so wronged? How can how can the world be so corrupt? I mean, am I that naive that, you know, I think that everybody, you know, has good in them and they're going to, you know, make the right decisions and do what's right and, you know, whatnot? I mean, just because I would do it doesn't mean that, you know, everybody else is the same way that I am. But... You know, there's just so much that, that, I mean, so, so much to this case. I mean, I could go on for hours on this, but I'm telling you what, it rocked my, um, it rocked my inner core. Like, I, I just, I just, I can't, like, I can't wrap my head around how, um, how this could possibly have happened. I mean, 18 years, and now the the nephew this poor child you know i don't know i just i can't you know this poor family i mean i just seriously i i my heart hurts for the hombach family it does i you know it's terrible it's terrible all the way around um but anyway that's my my blog about that and if anybody has any information that that i don't know or i don't have please feel free to comment email me whatever. Um, I would appreciate it. Make me feel better anyway. So anyway, bye.